Welcome back to our city hall. Let's go to the Anu Kubi Dance Studio. We just go like flash so that our Ugonga visitor will not sit down. Use that term, flash. Thank you for using that word, flash. Should we I remind you? <laughs> flash. Let's go. You know, say you are flash. You know, they are not feel used to after that for one sentence. What is that supposed to mean? No, just respect our guests, please. Our Ugonga visitor, like we talk, now the ADC candidates, uh, we want to enter inside Lagos State House of Assembly. And now Agege constituency one. Now in she they represent. Her name now Akinwumi Tolulokwe. Welcome to Asili Hot. Thank you so much. Good evening, my friends. Now here I did tonight. We are ready to serve you better, and we can do it better. Women can do it better. You're welcome. Hey. You're welcome. <laughs> I, I want to be. Why are you? <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. You're going to laugh. I mean, you know, you see the tone which you use. Very soft, subtle. <laughs> hey. Let's go ahead. Let's go. Well, ahead. we get tradition here. We they shake hand. After we shake and finish, we go ask question. We know yeah. the hard mouth. You're welcome. Well, that is our symbol. Mm. If I was so work for, if you look at our logo, yeah. now nah handshake. Oh. Mm. And thank you for supporting us and for recognizing handshake once again. Handshake. Uh -uh. Handshake. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Now, uh, nah, that's the uh -uh. symbol. Now, all tradition. Now, yeah. yeah. all tradition here. Yeah. Now, so it is the allowed tradition okay. everywhere mm. across Lagos, across Nigeria. Handshake yeah. again. Now, handshake. If that day, now you will come and control the show, sir. <laughs> but no problem. I mean, we, we go inside. Together. Uh, yeah, before we begin, group. they talk about what it concerns Agege constituency one and why uh, now a woman go fit do the work and do her well and the plan where ADC as a political party get for the full Nigeria. Uh, make we talk about uh, some of the stories when we share today. Uh, you'll be a young person, you'll be a woman too. And if we check the population of Nigeria, now young people plenty pass. And now people when we say uh, the things when if it's good, then go enjoy. If it's bad, then go suffer up. And uh, then plenty pass inside this country. Maybe we talk about one when we say he don't touch plenty people for Berlin. He get to do with uh, the ASU strike and the fact say plenty people don't they sit down for house for a very long time. And uh, make I ask you one very very important question about education inside our great country Nigeria. And uh, why you think say ASU and federal government uh, suppose set to quick quick so that children uh, then go go back school then go learn. And then go they contribute to moving this our great country Nigeria forward. How important you take things say settlements there for this ASU and federal government quarter when they happen now? The first thing our government make them recognize is that education is very, very important. Mm. Without education, we ain't going anywhere. Mm. It's not about age. Let me correct, I'm not young. Yeah, physically I may look young, but thank God for our education. Mm. We don't get experience. More so, when you are getting close to 40, you are not young again. The mm. president of France, now 31, no? mm. our, our former, former, former president, some of them, when they, when when they when, enter power, they, you know, they, they are young. within that, you know, they were young. So education is very, very important. One of the reasons why I am going to represent my people, because our present leaders, they have forgotten the fact that education is very, very important. Mm. So we are going there to let them know and to start representing our people better, to draw their mind back, say, without education, people's mind will not be, they will not have that orientation, mm. and they will not stay focused. Mm. So education is very, very important. From there, we'll be able to come in, you know, have laws that will guide our, gov our government, mm -hmm. so, such that they will know the importance of education and how they are so have to be protected. Mm -hmm. Because without them getting their money mm -hmm. in time, salary, maintenance of school, and all that, you there is no sense them. at all. Yes. Exactly. Talking about that salary now, mm -hmm. you know, say, you know, say, those of us who say, we know Lagos, mm -hmm. you know, they know they, know they use full math, call an AEG, and they call her. And we will talk about this minimum wage matter, and the fact that President Mohamed Bouhari don't come out, come talk, say, um, we know, say, we won't discuss this 30K. But people, when they call it past 30K, we go also look their money. If we go fit, maybe come out some things, so that we go fit distribute the thing around, and it go make sense. But plenty of people don't come out, come talk, say, wait, oh. It be like saying, now only those when they government, now then they enjoy. Mm. Why the people, they suffer? Make I ask you, especially when we say go go government. Yeah. And by the grace of God, if you enter, you say go enjoy yes. the enjoyment. Uh, you don't think say time don't reach for us to look the money when those when the government they collect and use big cutlass cut the thing so that when we collect from them for example senator where they collect uh, 13.5 million as running cost mm. for country where minimum wage now 18,000 if we collect from them uh, even they collect like maybe let's say uh, more say 500k 
to concern it on a big man. Uh, the small will remain out of the money. Go if they distribute around, they go reach some other things now. You know, the same time, don't reach to cut money when people, when the government, they collect. Uh, I support that motion. And I support it because our paramount focus should be on the people. Mm. Mm. 30,000 minimum, minimum wage, mm. divide it in 30 days. Does that take a responsible man home? Mm. Mm. Especially for transport for exactly. Lagos. Mm. Even when we are to look at the daily spending mm. of individuals, mm. it's more than that 1,000. Uh, the Oibo don't talk on before now. That even the average Niger, they live on $1 mm. per day. Mm. So the suffering is too much. But our, most of our leaders, most of them, not all of them, they are without conscience. Mm. See, that they are conscious. They don't vomit them. Mm. Even for Agege, we are telling them, I can speak better. Mm. I can do better. Because we have the, the known, known person there. Mm. And I'm telling them, we can speak better. We can mm. represent our people better. Mm. Because they have to come back to their consciousness. Mm -hmm. So before they take away our own conscious mind, mm. before they take, because you know, you go get certain level mm -hmm, now. Mm -hmm. You know, you'll be involved in so many things. And you too, you'll be like, you want to give in. We are not giving him. Mm. 30,000 minimum age can't take a family person home. So mm. we are going back there. OK, let's see how you come about the 30,000. And now you come about whatever salary a senator is taking home. Mm. Because we all have one single head. There is nobody born with two heads. Mm. So mm. there have to be equal sharing at all levels. Mm. Yes, we can't get the same salary. We can't get the same yes, salary. Yes. We all know that. But can 30,000 be sufficient? Can it suffice a responsible man or a responsible woman? Mm. The answer is no. Mm. OK, from that one, we could also look this one. This one, another very important um, issue. And you get to do with it, you know, Prezo, come and come talk. Our guy Prezo, come and talk, see, um, say, at least say, say, in go, may, in they put out one in the talk, say, they swear, say, look, oh, say, in no go touch hand inside government money, uh, come out uh, money from government, uh, you know, account to take wrong campaign. He can't give all that to a minister. Give a courage minister, say, men, I go out. Men, I go use technology, go put out our message. OK, if you look this message, and come relate on with what happened for the last election. The last election, it constitution don't actually state, say, now this particular amount of money was supposed to be spent for election. But what happened for the last election, we know go fear again. Mm. They spend money where we know fear give account of. Yes. From both parties. How we, or perhaps from your own perspective as somebody who won't contest, mm. how you go feel look and say, okay. Make could they actually they monitor the fund, the money they spend, so that at least they will go not say that way constitution don't talk, oh, now what will go stick by. And if we don't stick by that particular constitution, see what now waiting it will result to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, spending money on election uh, is an unavoidable tax. Mm. So before now, you just don't, I'm not just coming out, I've been on this race before now, like preparing for four years before now. Mm. So I want to believe that the, what the president has said, he knows what he's saying. But meanwhile, he has a lot of people in the government. Mm. It may not be the money from the budget, but they, there might have been, there might have been a lot that will have been, you know, settled, mm -hmm. prepared mm -hmm. for election. But because there is no how you can avoid it, you have to spend money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whether we are just coming up, the pressure is on us. Mm. The pressure of spending, you know, all the political leaders and elders that are used to a certain style with what they, you know, they are used to, spending, spending. When you are not even supposed to spend, mm. they expect you to spend. Mm. But we are not being distracted by that. We are staying focused. But I believe bringing that from the budget should not, uh, government should not even, the president should not get himself involved. Mm. Election is different from his own personal self. Yes. He can't use his own personal thinking or his own personal idea. Whatever he has, for the election, he being a candidate, he should stay with it. But what I'm saying here is that before now, some people have been taken care of, either by contract mm. or by other means. Mm. So now they can come in, bring the money to support their election. Mm. But with that, we are just coming up. Yes, we are young, but also we are not young. We are staying focused. We are not distracted by all that. Mm. Mm. Well, in fact, the way you don't talk now, at least, then, eh, if they give me this kind of courage, say yes, eh, say you be, that individual will be say, you get a lot of courage, you get yes. a lot of confidence, yes. and then um, going by your, going and by so, what you don't talk, at least, eh, if you also don't put, put them out there, we also expect Nigerians to also say, ah, ah, 
This talk where this and our sister they talk. Now talk where we say we supposed to follow mm -hmm. normally with due process. Okay, make we make we leave all this one. Make we can't enter into um, the waiting carry you come. But before we go and back into that, that particular major cause or that particular position we divide for, make we first ask. And um, the African Democratic Congress, which is ADC, yeah. a lot of Nigerian go talk say uh, they never hear this party before. A lot of people go also their way say that new party you, you understand. But for the for the benefit of our viewers, they watch us right now. Waiting and waiting make up ADC as a political party. We're different from every other thing we other political party, you know, and um, get. So at make our viewers, make them also know waiting there, waiting on our, on our, waiting with our own major this thing goes and um, objectives. Okay. ADC is African Democratic Congress. It's not a new party. Our professor Pato told me use the same party to fly in 2007 okay. for presidential okay. candidate. So it's been in existence. Uh, last year, before 2018, around 2017, we all came up with this idea of Coalition for Nigerian Movement, yeah. a new group, a new movement. It was all ran online and all that. So we just look at it with the support of our national leaders that some of us know, uh, which I may not be allowed to mention, I'm here on my own. We now look at it, that which party can we move this movement to that has over millions of people mm -hmm. that have registered online? We now concluded, after we'll have, after we'll, we'll, uh, we'll have uh, we've considered a lot of things, that ADC is still a party that has no dent. From there, we started gradually, gradually. And we concluded that this is a party which we take pride. We, we even have it as our slogan, that ADC for the youth, ADC for women, mm. ADC for all. They will now inculcate Nigeria to it. Mm. A, D, and C, arise and shine mm. Nigeria. Mm. So ADC, African Democratic Congress, is a party for the youth, is a party that supports the women, it allows the women that we've been treated in politics. Women belong to the other room. What mm. is the other room? The other room, you can have your office. Mm. The other room, it goes beyond kitchen. Mm. The other room, you can bring. We have a lot of entrepreneurs. I'm also an ent entrepreneur, yeah, involved in recycling and all that, but we're not preaching that today. We're mm. just preaching about our involvement in politics as women. And ADC also is a platform that supports all the elders. Come together, what can you do? And to the glory of God, since that 2007, where we decided that we are taking Coalition for Nigeria Movement, that is CNN, that we are taking it to merge with ADC, we've been waxing high. Mm. And the acceptance is, is, is everywhere. Mm. Recently, we are ranked as the third largest growing party mm. by Heineck. So with that, we have future. And mm. by God's grace, after 2019, we are taking over as the largest party in Nigeria. Mm. 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 This talk where you don't talk now, you don't give us summary of what in ADC as a political party be and the plan one I get for uh, Nigeria. But we can't talk about the plan when you get uh, for the people in your constituency, Agege 01. Uh, you go to give us idea as they consign uh, what in the situation be now for your constituency. I believe say, that that thing now you look on the side, say, okay, oh, uh, I won't go represent my people. Uh, give us idea of what in the situation be and tell us your plans. Thank you so much. I just didn't wake up one day to say I'm going into politics. It started from university. Uh, I've served in the university as vice president before. And it has always been there about good governance. Mm. It has always been there about people. Because knowing fully well that I'm part of the people, whatever is applicable to everybody, I'm also involved. And when the opportunity is there to be at the forefront, I'm always there. You always see me advocating for good governance. Mm. So I'm going because there are a lot of lacunas, there are a lot of lapses. Mm. We've served them. I used to be with a party, but we've realized that when they make promise, mm. they don't fulfill. Mm. You don't get to see them until after three and a half years. Mm. Agege is such a peculiar community. I'm not just contesting. I have uh, Honorable Roti Miyakintunde coming out on that. He's also young and vibrant, coming under constituency 02, Agege. Also, the main person, he has contested before under another, the, the, the so-called largest co uh, party. Mm. Part of what made us to conclude that we have to stay focused mm. is that after collecting the tickets, the other people, 
you go, you, you, you go tell us more about this one. We get somebody on top of our telephone right. line. Thank Hope you. Yeah, they call us from Wari. Welcome to our city hut. Okay, Opia, you did there? Opia, you did there? Good evening. Okay, Opia, if you go get a chance, call us back. I beg. Make we just hear you. If you want to call, reduce the volume of your television so that we go hear you and the full Nigeria go hear you too. Okay. And just complete that talk in position. Yes. So the other person, by uh, going for the uh, member Federal House of Representatives in presence of Honorable Cousin Adekunle Adeniji. So we've all been working together as a team. We are staying focused is because at such today, there is lack of security in Agege. Mm. There are certain, certain uh, set of youths. In fact, if care is not taken, they're going to overtake Agege. There'll be one million mm. boys. Mm. And they have another one too. Mm. The Awawa. Since you have mentioned, make I follow yeah, you. Make mention, I add mention. another one. Awawa. Mm. You dare and not go not, out. Not not groups you there. dare not even make uh, you dare not even go out from ten o'clock or you just have a breakdown. You understand? At all this evening time. When they bounce on you, now God go save you. Mm. Seriously, now God go save you. My son has been attacked before. Mm. All because he, he wore a designer t shirt. And it was called, it was around, it was called that this t shirt, just like you're wearing like Gucci, you know, about, about me. Mm -hmm. And someone coming to you that don't try and wear this wear again. This we see you as young that you are not one of them. That that is also another dress code mm. for a certain group. Mm. If mm. anything will happen, it will have happened to the innocent boy. Mm -hmm. He just came from boarding house and all that happened. And not even boarding house, secondary school. And what you go do now, we say, you go come tell us the plan. Where you you get as representative to use address the issue of insecurity. We get somebody when they call us from Ajegule. Welcome to Asi the Hot. Okay, good evening, my brothers. Uh, I'm my uh, honorable. I appreciate your uh, activity this evening. In fact, I'm very very happy for that. Thank you, Kingsley. So, right over there, you. So this uh, this my sister now. You know, most of the times when we are disappointed about the previous politicians and others, they are much always sweet for the beginning. But at the end, or maybe towards it, you will find out that they will not make you to understand that that place is not a place of everybody. I have come across of one of them here in our, in our agent here, mm -hmm. after we have put God and go now fight for the person to go, so we now decided to travel to Abuja to go and ask the person, I don't want to mention the name of the person, what is our position in Ajegule because of the things we are passing through here. The person, you know, we use our language to communicate with the person in Abuja here. The person tell us, tell us that we should go back to Ajegule, that this place is not a place that we speak our language. But when we are campaigning for the person, we are using our language to talk to in, um, the best man may to understand that this is not the place we speak a, a traditional language. Mm -hmm. So, my sister, I'm not, uh, I'm not against what I said, because I love your passions and whatever you are uh, pushing off. But I would like you to remember that as you are appearing in a in, in, in network like this, people are seeing you, and those who know you very well, they can trust to say, if we vote into this person, can this person walk to our own demise? Because you are going there not for your own sake. Mm. In our political uh, system uh, in this country, um, they, are, they are going there for their own pocket, they are for their own sake. They, are, they will now forget about those who fight for them. Many people will die because of them, but they will forget about them. So I want you to understand that you are not going there for your own purpose. There are people who, are, who want you to go there and represent them. Mm -hmm. That is the problem. Very true. Oga Kingsley, thank you very much for this very important much, contribution. Kingsley. Make a own way to Oga Kingsley, don't talk. Remind you, say... You go see, tell us what you go do mm. as representative to use deal with this uh, awa awa and one million boys there. Mm. But me, I throw this one when Kingsley talk give you. It be like say plenty Nigerians don't hear, don't see, and we don't lose faith for politicians. Mm. Now why you come out here they talk say from the beginning they talk they sweet. They sweet. When they yes. enter the music they change. Mm -hmm. How you go take answer this uh, matter so? Well, that's why we don't believe in. Yeah, it's good to have God for that reason. Mm but we don't believe in imposition. Mm. So most of us, we are out there, not because we are hungry, but our focus, our mission is good representation based on where we live in our environment, what is happening. Mm -hmm. So Agege is very, very peculiar, like I said earlier. 
by God's grace, we have held us to the good ones that have been advising us. It's not about what we're going to eat alone. Mm -hmm. Our focus now is what we're going to impart. One thing that most politicians, they always forget is that most of them, because we have allowed that, they are not educated mm. before they join politics. Mm. So when they get there, they think of their own selfish interests yes. first. I was telling someone that I'm a friend to the house there some time ago. We've been through system. You know, when you are working in the private sector, they will train you to what is acceptable, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. what is accepted outside there. So we are trained. But the set of politicians we have now, they've not been through any training. Mm. They just carry that Because form. most of us, we are going back. Well, we are not going back. We're mm. just waiting for the time. Like I told you earlier that I'm involved from the university. Mm -hmm. So we're just waiting for that time. But our, maybe uh, the older ones before us, they believe that the politics is a dirty game. Even women going into politics is a lie. Mm. Uh, this will go all out like this. <laughs> Oga Tony, they call us from Benin. We promise after this one, we go lock our telephone line. Oga Tony, fire down or I see the heart. Yeah, people, they have a day. We they fine. Oga Tony. Happy New Year. Could be here on a day. We they fine or we they greet Oga Tony long time. I will day, my brother. Mm. No, Tuku, this one where you they talk to you lock phone after the sun. No lock can I invest with Tuna. Mm. This program, a phony program. We are not going to just bring, before this one, I promise us, they will go bring people, we go to ask them questions. Mm. No, we are, now we call this station, now I'm giving instruction, you don't lock it mm. after my call. Others go to call. This is phony program. Okay. I, I got to the other one. Yes. Now when I want to talk before you even talk, why are you going to lock up? You go now go call people, say make people come. I got to now one laugh for you. Interview them, make with this and that. Then I go carry them come here. We <laughs> have on two, three occasions we've been trying to come. You mm. go make us go lose lose thing for this program. I got no vex, no vex, no vex. Ask your question, I beg. Now call the question. Make I finish. Now what do you go make the program in close in the talk? So no vex, I got Tony. Well, I'm giving you instruction. After me, others have got to come because now we didn't have staff, not okay. you. I okay, I got Tony. Yeah, uh -huh. thank you, sir. So uh, that is by the way. So what I want to ask, because, uh, Madam, uh, not they speak broken. Yeah, so now they speak English. This one now a broken program. And not the big men they go to way for you. Now poor people where that they will they not they hear English. So not they after this one now, no speak English again. Teach me. They, okay. So don't hear. worry, I will flow with you. I I, I go to flow with the rhythm now. Uh, I don't uh, hear uh, your gap tone. That English again, we don't want to hear hear them. No good and cook they speak broken, they hear they blow grammar. Okay. We don't need that. So okay. what my wife tell you be say, if you enter now, waiting. You go do for that poor woman when they fry a car, because you don't they tell us that the line where you go follow. But now do that man when they fly a car, you don't speak English for. Thank you. Thank you very much, Agatoni. Thank you very much. We now don't give us instruction. Now now they work for so. We not get yes, any right. We don't agree with all the two way you talk. Mm. And before you answer a question about the ordinary people when they live for AAG and the plan when you get for them for your constituency. Yeah. I would like to make you finish this one. We get to do it. That's insecurity where you talk. Mm -hmm. And if you enter, what do you go do? Can I say you go do law when we say everybody go begin carry gun or police go to follow everybody up and down? Mm -hmm. What if that's where you go do to address the issue? First of all, on the security, uh, the thing where we go they do, we've started already. We don't start. Build a relationship with the security agency yeah. at all levels mm -hmm. from the local, from the street, the estate to the OPC, to the, you know, to the Nigerian police force. We've started, we don't start this relationship mm -hmm. with them. We'll be having a stakeholders meeting. By the time we win and we're in power, we'll be having a monthly uh, stakeholders meeting, mm. stakeholders meeting mm. whereby the police, it, uh, police will come, tell us their own mind too. Mm -hmm. And one of the things is that, they themselves need empowerment. Mm -hmm. Like a few days ago, when our people were outside there to check the post, you know, the posters and all that, the awareness posters and the candidateship posters, we met one of the around 10, 30, We met one of the police men, uh, men you know, <laughs> coming out with bus without headlamps. Mm. They were using touch lights, mm. and I approached them. I introduced myself, honourable. So, uh, uh, why? And they said that's the situation they've been over years. It just didn't happen. Mm. And of the truth, I decided personally 
to go through all the police station, about five police stations aside the area G we have, they lack operational vehicles. Mm. So by God's way, when we come into power, that's the first thing we tackle. Mm -hmm. The maintenance of their operation vehicles and, you know, every day checking by them. Mm -hmm. where they, they will have a forum where they will be submitting orders to. Mm -hmm. But the major important thing is that aside the operational vehicle, there will be stakeholders meeting across board mm -hmm. with all the security okay. agencies. Uh, you, you mentioned stakeholders meeting. You don't also mention at least ensuring say for that security day. Mm -hmm. But and that too, I will also bring up from this particular issue get to do with this same um, one million boys and them um, other group where you don't mention because uh, if that's now we one major thing we emphasize on. If we look at our present reality right now and um, they talk now youth be nine, nine dominate past nine full parts for the country and then um, the same youth way full parts now then they also suffer unemployment and then a lot of politicians they also they use to take them um, at yes. least achieve their own uh, political yes. um, interest and all that okay this set of people we will talk about now if not be unemployment or because of say they don't get job they don't go there for this kind of position yes so what if it does for that we will also need to look to address so that I'll probably implement or introduce into a system. We'll go bring these people come on from that particular um and um, that particular act where they do a group of fractals where they did. So they will not say gradually we don't they see that um, clean up yeah. they play out. The first thing is orientation. Mm. We will be organizing a forum to orientate our people. They say my people perish because they lack what? They lack knowledge, they lack understanding, they lack information. Our present leadership. They've clouded our youth. Yes. Mm. They, they, they are limited. They've limited their potentials such that doing nothing, they give them PR, they give them tips. Mm. They don't even know the importance of that. They are not even interested in hard work anymore because they are being patronized for other mischievous acts. So the first thing that we're going to stay focused on is orientation. Back then, back then in secondary school, we used to have this Fumi Akindele to pass through that school. We do have peer educators training. That has always given me an insight that be an influencer in your environment, mm. up to university and all that. That was in secondary school. Yeah. And we look at it, the foundation itself is from primary school. Mm -hmm. So we'll be having an orientation program for them before empowerment. Because the person you are empowering that, you, that doesn't have that orientation, yes. it will still go back to school mm. and work. So we have to bring them together, have a gathering. You know, with professionals, with experience from even other African country. Before now, other African country, would they look at us as a, uh, you know, they will be looking at us so high, but now they are looking down on us. Mm. So we'll go back to that history. Then we'll let them know to believe in themselves. Mm. So without all this orientation, mm. we can't go anywhere. Mm. Without this, we can't go anywhere. Without orientation, we'll not go anywhere. We can't go and anywhere. And I can ask you that one because I know, say, I got Tony from Benin, go the best. If you know, ask this question. He said the ordinary man and woman, when they live for a day, because you know, say, as Nigeria, they like this now. You said, don't talk, I'm here. People, when they live on less than $2. $1. I don't want to talk that one because it didn't come up. We don't read 300 and something. But we say $2 a day in Nigeria. And you know, talk, say, those ordinary people, when we say every day, then they struggle to survive. Say, what will be your plan? For those ones, I mean, they don't follow for your plan. They have. We have, we have our manif manifesto. Hmm. The first thing we want to focus on is education. Hmm. Education is paramount. Mm -hmm. At all levels, we'll be looking at education. We'll be bringing competition among, among students. By God's grace, we, we, we will introduce scholarship to encourage them, hmm. such that if there is competition among them, it will help them to stay focused. We will look at peculiarities of different schools to be able to support the system mm. so that the children themselves will have interest to go to school. Mm. We will look at the teachers. What is their own capacity? In what way can we assist them? Mm. We will look at that too to support the, the teaching staff and the non-teaching staff. Also, they will be involved in the orientation program. There will be scholarship for them mm. and all that. Not just the exercise book. Mm. Not just the exercise book. There are a lot of people there are a lot of countries that are interested in small, small community like that, like this. We have relationship with some of them already. By God's way, when we are, when we are in, we are bringing that relationship into the community. Then secondly, health system. We will bring in, by God's way, we are working on some uh, ambulances. Mm. In Agege, you will see older ones. I have the photograph of a particular one. It's not with me yet. An elderly woman on Okada. 
mm. being rushed to the hospital. Mm. In a community such as Agege, where you have the speaker and some other elites, mm. that shouldn't happen. So we are looking into the, uh, into the health system also, that the older ones should be treated for malaria every mm. quarterly, free, mm. Mm. free at no cost. Then there will be an emergency number where they can call for assistance. Instead of putting our older ones, our parents, on Marua, on Okada, that, uh, that from one fire to another one. So we're looking to implement all that into our health system in Agege. Yeah, there used to be paying cinema in Agege. Now it's been destroyed. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at bringing that again, the cinema. We have it here. I will not mention. Mm -hmm. So with that, we can create jobs. In America, you see Agege, Agege, the bread and all that. Mm. We want to bring all that mm. by mm. God's mm. grace. Mm. We want to, before they start stealing now, but it's part of our manifesto. Mm. And by God's grace, it's workable with ADC. Mm. I would like to make you end with talk, say, uh, if people see woman, make them come out, make them support woman. Yes. Because woman, they're special. Yes. Yes. And a woman, I ain't go feed one. Yes, thank you so much. I want my people to vote for women. We are strong. We have the energy. We are so compassionate, mm. and we stay focused. We are not easily distracted, and we know where we are going, and we stay focused with that. More so, women, they have the largest population. Mm. So why not vote for your fellow women? And also, in most of the offices, women have not been tried. So now, we are taking back what is ours. That's where I'm going, and I promise I'm not going to disappoint you. Mm. Thank you. Mm. This talk where you don't talk, you don't, don't finish. Well. Any other two will add, go be like, say, well, they do too much. Mm. Call any handshake. And you get up. I Until we come back again. Thank you. <laughs> well, this one, uh, normal, <laughs> gritty handshake. Until we come back again tomorrow uh, with another topic where they come out smoke. Una bye bye. Una bye bye. To so enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.